Riverside County, it's in California. The sheriff there is Chad Bianco, and uh, the sheriff joins me now. Sheriff, the president was in your state. Would you have wanted him to go to the border? Oh, absolutely. We've wanted him to go to the border for years now, and we would like anyone to go to the border and at least admit uh, what they're all denying and lying to all of us about, that we have a serious problem at the border that is being completely controlled by cartels. And if he would have went, he would have had to admit it, and he would have had to, to, to admit sure. to the general public that they're lying. Are the migrants having any impact at all in your county? Uh, yes and no. We're, we're, I mean, I guess luckily for us, we're, we're a little bit removed from the actual border. So no, we are not a border county, but the freeways flood right into it. And then we do have border, uh, border patrol stations in our county. So yes, we do, but more so it affects Imperial County and San Diego County. And it's a mess, I take it, right? It's a complete mess. Over the last several days, they're, they're releasing thousands, just releasing thousands of, of immigrants into the streets of San Diego mm. with nowhere to go. They're just aimlessly wandering the streets. And their Border Patrol is so overrun that it's just, a, it's just an open flow into the country. There is no stopping it. There's not even an attempt to stop it. It's just extraordinary. I, I do notice one thing. Uh, Governor Newsom introduced new gun law uh, with a couple of uh, points to be made. A new gun laws, 16 hours of training for anybody who wants to get a gun and two references. Why do you say that this is pointless and ineffective? because of facts and statistics. They are completely lying about numbers and imaginary numbers to support an agenda of disarming the general public. The fact of the matter is law-abiding citizens don't commit crimes. Criminals commit crimes. Over the past several years, Newsom has been pro-criminal friendly while he completely shows that he's anti-law-abiding -law Californians. But, uh, this will do absolutely nothing to stop crime. But I, I would have thought that given the level of gun violence around the country, people would want to do something. And if it's this 16 hours of training, they would go for that because you're doing something. But you reject it entirely. I, I completely reject it entirely because the people that want a concealed weapons permit are law-abiding residents that do not commit murder, do not commit crimes. But what's the wrong gun with... Violence so, well, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but what, what's wrong with 16 hours of training? Oh, absolutely nothing. They already get eight. And the people that are coming to us that are asking for CCWs, that's an absolute minimum just to get the permit. They are proficient with their guns. We know they're proficient with their guns. But the bottom line is they have it for their own safety, not to go out and rob a liquor store. A criminal is not going to go to 16 hours of gun safety so he can go rob a liquor store or go rob someone's house. This has absolutely nothing to do with fighting crime. It will do absolutely nothing to stop what you refer to as gun violence. It's people violence. It is not guns. Guns don't commit violence. Sheriff Chad Bianco, Riverside County. Thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate it. Always. Thank you. you got Thanks. it. I appreciate it.